In the hallowed realm of literary nonfiction, where fact and storytelling intertwine to create narratives that captivate and enlighten, one name stands out, David Gran. With a pen as deft as a maestro's baton and an insatiable curiosity that knows no bounds, Gran has emerged as a master chronicler of forgotten stories and hidden truths. His latest tour de force, Killers of the Flower Moon, is a testament to his formidable talents and unyielding commitment to unearthing the past. But who is David Gran, this intrepid explorer of forgotten realms? Born with ink in his veins and a love for the written word coursing through his being, Gran's journey to literary acclaim is as fascinating as the stories he tells. With a background in journalism and a passion for uncovering the untold, he honed his craft, working for esteemed publications such as The New Yorker and The New York Times. It is within the hallowed halls of these institutions that he refined his skill, forging a path towards becoming one of the most celebrated voices in modern nonfiction. Grand's distinctive style, an elegant tapestry woven with meticulous research, vivid prose, and an unyielding commitment to truth, draws readers into worlds that history has forgotten. He is a literary archaeologist, digging through the layers of time to resurrect stories that have long been consigned to the depths of oblivion. Through his words, he breathes life into the forgotten, revealing the hidden narratives that shape our collective understanding of the past. With Killers of the Flower Moon, Gran once again embarks on a journey of discovery, peering into the darkest corners of America's history. In his hands, the story of the Osage Indian nation and the reign of terror that befell them becomes an epic saga, an intricately woven tapestry of wealth, betrayal, and resilience. It is a tale that transcends the boundaries of time, resonating with universal themes of greed, justice, and the enduring power of the human spirit. Grand's ability to blend historical analysis, investigative reporting, and the artistry of storytelling elevates Killers of the Flower Moon to a literary masterpiece. Through elegant prose that flows like a river, he beckons readers to embark on a journey, a journey that will leave them breathless, transformed, and hungry for more. It is a journey that compels us to confront the shadows of the past, to challenge our assumptions, and to bear witness to the triumphs and tragedies that shape our shared human experience. So, dear reader, as you embark on this summary of Killers of the Flower Moon, immerse yourself in the world that David Gran has crafted. Allow his words to transport you to a time of untold wealth and unimaginable horrors. Let his elegant English captivate your imagination and awaken your sense of justice. For within these pages, you will uncover not only a riveting tale of crime and corruption but also a profound reflection on the enduring legacy of the past, and the urgent need to confront it. Prepare yourself for a literary journey unlike any other, for in the hands of David Gran, the forgotten become immortal, and the truth is laid bare. The Marked Woman In the early 1920s, the Osage Native American tribe in Oklahoma found themselves in possession of immense wealth and prosperity. The discovery of oil on their land turned the once impoverished tribe into millionaires overnight. They became the richest people per capita in the world. However, with this newfound wealth came a dark and sinister underbelly that would unravel a series of shocking crimes. David Grant's Killers of the Flower Moon delves into the gripping true story of the Osage murders and the birth of the FBI. This section of the book takes us back to a time when the Osage people faced unimaginable horrors. As oil money began to flow, the tribe attracted attention from unscrupulous individuals who sought to exploit their wealth. Greed and avarice seeped into the region, leading to a wave of murders and mysterious deaths that would haunt the community for years to come. The story centers around Molly Burkhart, a member of the Osage tribe, and her family. Molly's sister, Anna Brown, becomes the first victim of the unfolding tragedy when she falls ill and dies under suspicious circumstances. Soon after, other members of Molly's family also meet untimely and unnatural ends. The deaths are initially dismissed as accidents or illnesses, but as the body count rises, the Osage community begins to suspect foul play. Faced with a local law enforcement system that turns a blind eye or, worse yet, 
is complicit in the crimes, the Osage people are desperate for justice. Enter Tom White, a former Texas Ranger and seasoned investigator. White is appointed to lead the investigation into the Osage murders, and he assembles a team of dedicated agents to uncover the truth. As White and his team dig deeper, they start unraveling a vast conspiracy rooted in greed, corruption, and racism. It becomes apparent that the motive behind the murders is the control and ownership of the valuable oil reserves on Osage lands. The Osage people, who had once been forcibly relocated to this seemingly barren region, now find themselves in possession of a fortune that others are willing to kill for. Grand's meticulous research and compelling storytelling bring the grim reality of the Osage murders to life. The reader is transported to a time when the Osage community lived in constant fear, never knowing who could be next. Witnesses and potential informants begin to disappear or are found dead, further obstructing the investigation. As the crimes continue, Molly Burkhart's mother, Lizzie, grows increasingly paranoid and fearful for her family's safety. She hires private detectives to gather evidence and protect her remaining loved ones. The Osage community rallies together, sharing information and supporting each other in the face of unimaginable tragedy. This first part of the book lays the foundation for the story that follows. It sets the stage for the investigation led by the newly formed FBI, which becomes entwined with the fate of the Osage people. The reader is introduced to key characters, witnesses, and suspects, and the chilling atmosphere of fear and suspicion permeates every page. Killers of the Flower Moon paints a vivid picture of a community torn apart by greed, discrimination, and violence. It explores the complex relationship between the Osage people and the U.S. government, highlighting the injustices faced by Native American tribes throughout history. The tale is a haunting reminder of the depths to which humanity can sink and the resilience of those who fight for justice. The Evidence In Killers of the Flower Moon, David Grand delves deeper into the historical records and primary sources to reconstruct the events surrounding the Osage murders. This section of the book uncovers a web of corruption, racism, and collusion that implicates prominent members of the community in law enforcement agencies. Grand begins by providing historical context, exploring the significance of the black gold boom that accompanied the discovery of oil on the Osage Reservation. The sudden influx of wealth transformed the tribe's fortunes, leading to increased ownership of cars, mansions, and other signs of prosperity. However, it also attracted unscrupulous individuals who saw an opportunity to exploit the Osage's newfound riches. As the murders continued, the Osage community lived in constant fear. The crimes were carried out with chilling precision, often disguised as accidents or illnesses. However, the evidence pointed to a more sinister plot that involved a conspiracy of silence. Local authorities, including the sheriff's office, either turned a blind eye to the crimes or were directly involved in covering them up. To combat the corruption and lack of progress, the Osage turned to private investigators and legal experts to aid in their quest for justice. These individuals risked their lives to gather evidence and bring the perpetrators to light. Through their efforts, the investigation gained momentum, revealing the true extent of the reign of terror that gripped the Osage community. One key aspect explored in this section is the struggle to find reliable witnesses. Fear and intimidation silenced potential informants, and those who spoke out faced grave consequences. Some witnesses met untimely deaths, while others disappeared without a trace. The investigation was hindered by the constant threat hanging over the heads of those who dared to come forward. As the case gained national attention, the Osage murders became a critical test for the newly formed Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, led by J. Edgar Hoover. Hoover saw an opportunity to showcase the capabilities of the agency and establish its credibility. He assigned Tom White, a former Texas Ranger, as the lead investigator for the case. White and his team worked tirelessly to connect the dots, 
even resorting to undercover operations to gather information about the perpetrators. Gran highlights the challenges faced by the investigators and the resilience they displayed in the face of adversity. The deeper they dug, the more they realized the magnitude of the conspiracy they were up against. The investigation uncovered links between the crimes and a network of influential individuals who sought to maintain control over the Osage's wealth. The legal proceedings that followed were fraught with obstacles. Witness intimidation and tampering with evidence posed significant challenges to securing convictions. However, the dogged determination of the investigators, along with the bravery of key witnesses, resulted in some of the perpetrators being brought to justice. While the trials offered a glimmer of hope, they also exposed the systemic racism and injustices prevalent during that era. The Osage people faced prejudice and discrimination in the courtroom, as their voices were often silenced or discredited. Grand sheds light on these aspects, underscoring the broader implications of the case beyond the specific murders. The Osage murders had a profound and lasting impact on the community and the town of Osage itself. The crimes left a scar on the collective memory, forever altering the dynamics of the region. The once thriving community was left with a sense of mistrust, fear, and a lingering question of who could be trusted. In this section of the book, Grand meticulously uncovers the evidence and reveals the harrowing truth behind the Osage murders. He skillfully balances historical research, personal accounts, and investigative reporting to present a comprehensive picture of the crimes and their far-reaching consequences. Killers of the Flower Moon is a chilling exploration of a dark chapter in American history, shedding light on the depths of human depravity and the resilience of those who fought for justice. The Reign of Terror In the final section of Killers of the Flower Moon, David Grand delves into the aftermath of the Osage murders and explores the lasting impact they had on the community. This section, titled The Reign of Terror, examines the broader implications of the crimes and reflects on the legacy of this dark chapter in American history. As the investigations unfolded and the guilty parties were brought to justice, the Osage community began the process of healing and rebuilding. However, the scars left by the reign of terror ran deep, and the wounds inflicted on the tribe would not easily fade away. Gran provides a detailed account of the aftermath and how the Osage people emerged from the shadow of fear and violence. One aspect explored in this section is the role of the newly formed Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, in the Osage murder case. The successful resolution of the investigation bolstered the credibility of the agency and established its reputation as a force for justice. The Osage murders played a pivotal role in shaping the early years of the FBI and its mission to protect American citizens. Despite the convictions secured against some of the perpetrators, questions remained about the full extent of the conspiracy and the identity of all those involved. Grand delves into the lingering mysteries and unresolved aspects of the case, highlighting the limitations and gaps in the investigation. The Osage community, too, continued to grapple with the trauma inflicted upon them, seeking closure and a sense of justice that went beyond the courtroom. In addition to examining the direct aftermath of the Osage murders, Grand also explores the broader implications of the crimes. He delves into the systemic racism and discrimination faced by Native American tribes throughout history. The Osage people were subjected to prejudice and marginalization, which further compounded their suffering during the Reign of Terror. Grand provides a critical examination of the larger context in which these crimes occurred, shedding light on the injustices faced by indigenous communities across the United States. The Reign of Terror also delves into the concept of resilience and the Osage people's determination to rebuild their lives despite the horrors they endured. Gran highlights the strength and unity within the community as they supported one another and sought to move forward. The Osage people refused to let the crimes define them and instead focused on reclaiming their identity and preserving their cultural heritage. As the book concludes, Gran reflects on the lasting legacy of the Osage murders. 
He examines the impact of the crimes on the town of Osage and the broader American society. The story serves as a reminder of the atrocities committed against indigenous peoples and the ongoing struggles for justice and equality. Killers of the Flower Moon is a haunting and thought-provoking account of a dark period in American history. It is a testament to the power of investigative journalism and the pursuit of truth. By meticulously piecing together the evidence and sharing the stories of those affected, Grand sheds light on a forgotten chapter, urging readers to confront the past and work towards a more just and equitable future. The Osage murders serve as a chilling reminder of the depths to which humanity can sink, but also as a testament to the resilience and strength of those who refuse to be silenced. Conclusion This book is a riveting true crime narrative that explores the chilling Osage murders and their impact on the Osage Native American tribe in the 1920s. The book is divided into three parts that meticulously unravel the crimes, delve into the investigation led by the FBI, and examine the aftermath and broader implications of the case. Part 1, The Marked Woman, sets the stage for the unfolding tragedy. The Osage tribe's newfound wealth from oil reserves attracts greed and exploitation, leading to a series of murders targeting the Osage people. The crimes are initially dismissed as accidents, but as the body count rises, the community suspects foul play. Part 2, The Evidence, delves deeper into the investigation. Private investigators and the newly formed FBI work tirelessly to uncover a vast conspiracy rooted in corruption, racism, and collusion. Witnesses are silenced, evidence tampered with, and law enforcement agencies complicit in covering up the crimes. The trials that follow expose the systemic racism prevalent at the time. In Part 3, The Reign of Terror, the book explores the aftermath of the Osage murders. The Osage community seeks healing and justice while grappling with the trauma inflicted upon them. The story sheds light on the broader context of racism faced by Native American tribes and the legacy of resilience within the community. Killers of the Flower Moon is a powerful and important work that sheds light on a forgotten chapter in American history. Through meticulous research, Gran uncovers the depth of the crimes and their implications. The book examines the birth of the FBI and its role in the investigation, highlighting the struggles faced by marginalized communities and the pursuit of justice. Readers can benefit from this book by gaining a deeper understanding of the injustices faced by Native American tribes and the systemic racism embedded in American society. It serves as a reminder of the need to confront and address past atrocities and work towards a more equitable future. The story showcases the power of investigative journalism in uncovering hidden truths and the resilience of those who refuse to be silenced. Killers of the Flower Moon is a haunting and thought-provoking narrative that challenges readers to reflect on the darker aspects of American history. It is a call to action to acknowledge and rectify the injustices of the past, and to ensure that the voices of marginalized communities are heard and valued. Thank you, dear listeners, for joining us on this captivating journey through the pages of Killers of the Flower Moon. We appreciate your time and engagement. If you enjoyed this summary, we kindly ask you to press the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us continue to bring you more thought-provoking content. May the eloquent prose and compelling storytelling of David Gran inspire you to seek truth, confront history, and embrace the power of literature. We look forward to embarking on future adventures together.